Welcome back, Ashes Reality Recaps. Well, we're going to jump into the American Idol Recap. Wait, wait. American Idol Season 7 on ABC premieres next Sunday. This week, without much to talk about, we're going to talk about the same thing that everybody else is talking about. We're going to talk about the Super Bowl. Yes, just the Super Bowl. And, and, and Taylor Swift and the Super Bowl. But probably both of them. We're going to go ahead and talk about both of them. So here's my two cents on the game. I really didn't care about the game. Didn't even watch the first half of the game, honestly. I didn't watch any of the game until, you know, about three or four minutes left in the second quarter. And then my wife and I were having a conversation about having something on TV. I made a comment about Kansas City going for a three-peat. They wasn't going for a three-peat. That made her want to watch it because she thought it would be cool to see history with a three-peat. Uh, I ran with that storyline throughout the entire rest of the game that they was going for a three-peat. They was only going for back-to-back. -back. Next year will be a three-peat. But the announcers kind of threw me under the bus in overtime and said something about it being, you know, a back-to-back -back attempt for Kansas City. So she kind of looked at me and then had a really good laugh about it because I had her convinced that it, they was going for a three-peat last night. So that was entertaining. But anyhow, we started watching the game with about three or four minutes left in the second quarter. Uh, figured, hey, let's go ahead and watch the Usher show. And let me tell you, the beginning of the show was incredibly rough. He came out with the microphone on that went around in front of his face. And it started here and then here and it was over here and then back over here. And it sounded horrible. I'm not going to lie. The beginning, the beginning of the Usher show sounded terrible. Whatever microphone he had wrapped around his head wasn't good. After the first song he went through, or the first couple songs he went through, he transitioned to an actual microphone, and then the quality got ten times better. From that point forward, the Usher show was actually very good. Qu good quality, entertaining, he sang songs, he had people moving, but that first five minutes, four minutes, whatever it was, was not good. Don't let anybody fool you, the microphone around the face thing wasn't good. Out of halftime, the game came back on. We watched the next, you know, two quarters and overtime. It was a really entertaining game. And throughout that course, we had a discussion about Taylor Swift because that was the big issue, you know, Taylor Swift all season, Kansas City. I don't care how you feel about Taylor Swift. I could care less about Taylor Swift. I think she is a huge role model for a lot of girls out there. I think she's a huge role model. She's a role model, okay? But at the beginning of the game, Taylor Swift chugged a beer. And people are up in arms today. And, of course, it's the haters that already hate her are up in arms. But, look, Taylor Swift is human, same as everybody else is human. Everybody out there, a lot of people out there have chugged beers. And there's nothing against Taylor Swift chugging a beer. If you know anything about the Jumbotrons, when they shine that Jumbotron on and you have a beer in most other sports, you chug the beer. She followed right suit. It's That's culture. It happens. So, good job, Taylor. Thank you for being human. Thank you for chugging that beer. You're still a role model. No concerns. Throughout the rest of the game that we watched, they showed her maybe three, four times at best for minimal interaction. And they did. The production team did take turns to go through and show other famous people in the stadiums. Gwen Stefani, Luke Combs, to name a few. I'm going to go through the list. You can, you can find the list. But there's photographs, there's video of other famous people in the stands. So applause to making sure that we have some of those other people on that camera. And it wasn't just all about Taylor. At the end of the game, we went into overtime. Shame on San Francisco. To me, San Francisco's, San Francisco's coaches kind of cost them the game. They had some pretty rough defensive calls there in overtime where they just played soft for the first couple downs. They let Kansas City get a lot of yards. Then they started trying to play pressure, and at that point, you know, Mahomes was already in his element. It, it was over. I, we, I'm, I'm, surprised, I'm surprised that the game-winning touchdown didn't go to Kelsey, which they tried. They tried. That would have been a huge historic, like, end to the game, but – they didn't, which was good because it let somebody else take the spotlight and get that touchdown and get the win. So it really took a lot of you haters out of this game so that you couldn't be like, oh, God, they gave it to Kelsey so that they could have this amazing end. They know it's got to be scripted. It's got to be scripted. Kelsey got the touchdown to win. Kelsey didn't get the touchdown to win. Somebody else got the touchdown to win. Applause to that guy for getting the touchdown to win through the game. And I had already turned it off at this point, but I saw all the craziness this morning. You know, after the game, Taylor Swift and Kelsey kissed out on the field. And I'm not going to show the picture because it goes against the point I'm going to make right now. Have a little decency and respect. I get it. You're selling those pictures. People are selling those pictures to media outlets so that they can make money. The fact that it just keeps getting shoved down everybody's face 
It's just annoying. Let them be lovers. Let them be a couple. Let them do whatever they want to do. Swarm them, put cameras in their face. You're just adding all that pressure to a relationship that doesn't need to be on the, on the spotlight like that. Kelsey seems like a pretty good guy. Yeah, he got in Coach Reed's face and shoved him and almost knocked him down. But hey, that's passion. Shows he has a lot of passion in life. At the end, when they kissed each other and there was a hundred and some cameras and cell phones jammed up in their face trying to get that picture because they wanted that money, let it go. There are so many other players out on the field that you can walk around and you know talk to and interview and take pictures of. I get it. I get it. I get it. It's That's just... That's just the world we live in. That's the culture we're in. But at the end of the day, one, congratulations, Kansas City Chiefs, on winning the back-to-back Super Bowls. Two, Taylor Swift was not the big story of the game, regardless of what you all want to think and say and hear and talk about and read about. You know, she chugged a beer. She's human. I loved seeing that. She's a role model for a lot of people. That's fantastic. Her and Kelsey have an incredible relationship applaud to them for what they're doing she brought a six percent viewer increase to the game incredible for the game of football and all it's going to do is create profits for a lot of individuals and with that thank you for joining us for ashes reality recaps i look forward to seeing you next week for our first episode of the american idol recaps have a good one